John, it is great to see you. I've seen you run into two of my favorite Chargers at the Super Bowl, you and LaDainian Tomlinson. Oh, I didn't even know L was down here. He's down here. I didn't see him. LT's a big media, media superstar now. He's on NFL Network, breaking down, giving controversial comments. I know. He's big time now. I can't even text back anymore. He used to hit me up all the time. Well, you know the familiar theme. Every time we talk to LT, it always comes up, you know, what could have been. That, that Chargers team was great. And it comes up now because two people who are instrumental, A.J. Smith and Norv Turner, are, are gone. Can I get your thoughts on the end of that regime? Um, you know, you, you hate to see anybody lose their job in, in any profession. Uh, Norv is, is a great coach. Um, you know, his, his, his years in the leagues he put in, uh, it, shows, it shows itself, and he's a great person as well. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm sure he's, a lot of people are sad to see him go, but he'll have a better opportunity somewhere now. Chargers have had their struggles since really in the past three years, missing the playoffs. I mean, do you follow what goes on in San Diego? I know you still have some friends who are still on that team. Yeah, yeah, I still keep in touch. You know, I, I think a lot of people, uh, you know, have misunderstanding. Like when you leave a team, like you hate everybody right. in the you know organization. It's not like that. It's uh, you know, certain individuals who obviously didn't you know, want me there, hmm. um, and then you know, gave me a better opportunity to go get healthy and 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 be in a better situation uh, for my career. Can I ask you that? Why? Did, who who didn't want you there? Well, you, you you never really know. I mean, obviously, uh, I was hurt. I was injured. I couldn't perform. That's yeah. that's you know first and foremost, and um, and now that's not the case. So I can't really say that it was any one person uh, that didn't want me there. It was more of yeah, I was hurt. I was I was banged up at the time, and I, I just couldn't play. Were you frustrated by? I know you worked so hard to get back in Buffalo. Were you were you frustrated by not being not being 100 percent and really giving it giving it a world while you were there? Yeah, because you know it, it wasn't like something I can rehab um, and, and and go back out and play. I mean, I was rehabbing every day for almost two years. Yeah. Uh, because of my torn Achilles, and uh, you know, once I had surgery on that, I haven't had a problem since. I came back and had uh, you know some great time, a great time in uh, Buffalo. Where are you right now, and how are you feeling? I feel great. I'm 100%. Um, you know, I can't wait to get back and have a full all season of training. I haven't had one of those in uh, three years almost, and uh, to go back to, to feeling how, how I used to feel and, and being able to go out and play the way I'm capable of playing is great. Is it even possible to get to that level, though? I mean, the NFL takes a, takes, it takes a wear and tear on everyone that plays this game, especially if guys have played as hard as you did. Is it possible to really get back to that level, do you think? Well, you know, at, at the end of the day, um, you know, when I had the 12 and a half six and two, uh, 12 and a half uh, uh, sacks in 2007, to me personally, that was my best year. Um, and a lot of people look at the number and say the 17 sacks was was the best, and to me, it wasn't. Uh, so it's really not about numbers anymore. It's about what can I do, how can I uh, 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 fit into a team, and, and and how can the defense use me. Mm -hmm. Last time I saw you, it was unfortunate. I mean, it was it was in San Diego. It's a junior sales at the memorial for him. Can I can you just talk about what junior meant to you personally and professionally? Maybe one of the greatest Chargers of all time. Yeah, it's and to me, he is the greatest Charger of all time, no question about it. And uh, I remember my first my first year after I had a you know a, a big rookie year, they started comparing me to Junior Seau, and I'm like, I don't I don't want, <laughs> don't that. want that. Yeah, I don't want that comparison. But that's a tough act to follow, and um, just him as a player to play uh, as long as he did at a high level as he did is yeah. is tremendous. But uh, what we'll really showed at the ceremony and, and, and uh, the funeral of Junior Seau is what he meant to people right. and how great of a person he was and. Uh, that's that's one thing that I think that I'll remember and how uh, instrumental he was to me and kind of just take me under his wing and uh, if I text or call him or whatever he was there so that that's what most people should remember has it changed anything for you I mean your nickname is lights out for how hard you used to knock guys out has it when you hear about CTE and the long-term effects and the concerns has it changed really about how the way you think about this game um, anybody say that it, they don't think about it you know they can't they can't uh, be honest about that it's, it's a violent rough game and yeah. uh, at some point in time it's going to take a toll on all of our bodies you know may, maybe not just uh, you know brain injury but you know arthritis or or whatever it is, it's a hard game that we play. Um, but I wouldn't change anything about it because I, I do something I love to do. I want to ask you about your, your fellow Terp, and that would be Vernon Davis. Now, I think you guys used to work out together, right? Or he was like your baby brother or something. Yeah, man. You know, always, you know, Ber Vernon was like a, a little brother to me always. And uh, just to see, um, you know, him evolve as not only a player, but as a person. Yeah. Um, and I, you know, he's been getting a lot of attention for that, and uh, I'm just, I'm just happy for him. I'm really happy for him to, him to get a chance to play on the big stage like this. All right, so give me your take. Who, who, give me your thought, your prediction on the Super Bowl. Ray Lewis, his final hurrah versus Colin Kaepernick, and a tough, tough but banged up 49ers defense. Yeah, I, 
you have to go with the Ravens, uh, and and not because of talent or anything like that. But when you're playing on a stage this big, you have to uh, be able to perform. You can't have the the, the intensity and, and and get riled up and, and forget about what you're supposed to be accomplishing on the field. And 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 not just the players for the Ravens, but the whole organization. Uh, been in a, a situation like this before and know how to play on that level. So obviously the Ravens. Hey, last thing for me, when you came in this league. You started investing in businesses, whether it was construction companies or lights out gear. What are you doing these days? I can't keep, I, I try to follow on Twitter and I can't keep up all, all the things that you're involved with. Um, you know, a lot of stuff, but my latest thing uh, is, is, is the Lights Out brand. Uh, we're finally going to launch uh, the next five weeks or so, the, uh, the lightsoutbrand.com, www.lightsoutbrand.com, uh, a whole collection of lifestyle where, I mean, it's, it's, I, I can't wait for it to come out. Great. Thank you very much.